hello viewers today we are going to discuss john milton as well as the age he belongs to john milton is the representative poet of caroline period he belonged to the late renaissance at this time that is in caroline period in the declining spirit of renaissance in english uh, literature so milton uh, basically belonged from late renaissance period that is from Caroline age, the time sp span of Caroline age, age is 1625 to 1649. After 1649, there were no kings in England until 1654. So this in this period, uh, the kingdom was ruled by parliament and, and this period is called English interregnum. So let us begin by focusing on some of the important uh, events took place in the reign of Charles the first and next we will switch over to John Milton the towering personality of this age Charles the first reigned England from 1625 to 1649 in his uh, reign many uneven unexpected events took place in England uh, he basically belonged uh, from Roman Catholic as far as his ideology is concerned being a roman catholic he was opposed to theaters english theaters was closed in 1642 which is also a very uh, pathetic as well as astonishing to uh, to know the fact he uh, he in his uh, in his reign he uh, imposed uh, high taxes uh, like ship money and he even ruled England, Scotland, uh, Ireland uh, for 11 years uh, without the consent of parliament and that ultimately provoked uh, or, in, uh, or triggered uh, civil wars uh, which continued from 1642 to 1654 in two phases. Due to or oh, he is uh, Catholic as a uh, viewpoint, Catholic ideology. Uh, many uneven incidents took place along with uh, the civil wars. Another important war that is Bishop's War took place in England following 11 years of his tyranny. Uh, Bishop's War took place in Scotland. Uh, he wanted to um, regulate liturgy by imposing Archbishop uh, Lord's Book of Common Prayer. So, uh, as uh, revolt uh, took place uh, in uh, 1639, it continued for a year uh, ending in 1640. Uh, so, let us uh, uh, go uh, in detail about this Bishop War. Charles the First uh, was uh, wanting to impose Episcopal system of governance in Scotland. Episcopal system of governance uh, means a type of governance uh, with the help of bishops. In this type of governance, the, the role of bishop or clergyman uh, is predominant. Being a Catholic, he, want, he wanted to establish Episcopal system of government, government in Scotland. But since the Scottish people were broadly Protestant, they, uh, uh, they protested, they were not agreed with him, they revolted and they wanted a Presbyterian form of government. government. Presbyterian form of government without the predominance without the strong influence of bishops. So, <coughs> bishops were took place and uh, in his reign he also hmm, uh, uh, he also uh, passed licensing order 1643. It was a very uh, uh, very bad uh, incident took place uh, by licensing order he wanted uh, wanted pre censorship of books or uh, the prime objective of licensing order um, uh, that is uh, was to 
oh, stop or was to thwart the freedom of press, the freedom of mm, freedom of people, freedom of intellectual people. Uh, and as against to this uh, licensing order, Milton's Areopagitica uh, mm, was uh, came to the forefront in, in the next year, that in 1644. It was a forceful argument against the licensing uh, order. So, uh, he was such a bad ruler, such a tyrant that people all or his subjects were quite uh, angry with him. They revolted many a times and a kind of political as well as social unrest uh, prevailed in his kingdom, uh, which ultimately uh, brought catastrophe to his life. That is, he was executed. Uh, he, was, he had to meet the regicide in 1649. His book, uh, Autobiography Icon Basilic, was published 10 days after his death, uh, after his regicide, that is in 1649. Uh, the book represented him some, as something pious, as something care, caring, loving, and uh, with other hyperbolic statesman, uh, statements about his <coughs> own. <coughs> but since Milton was quite antagonistic to him, still Milton did not like him. Milton wrote within the fortnight uh, of his regicide, Milton wrote uh, another um, uh, tract that is iconoclasts, that is image breaker. He wanted to shatter the image of Charles the first. Now coming to John Milton. Milton was uh, born in 1608 in a well-to-do family in London. Uh, he, uh, he was a polyglot, means he knew many languages, uh, many classical languages along with English. He did not, he did not merely write in English, he also wrote in mm, Latin as well as other in other languages. He was such a prolific figure in English literature. He is, he is such a towering personality in English literature that many a times he is considered to be next to William Shakespeare. His position is considered uh, to be next to William Shakespeare because of his outstanding contribution in English literature. He wrote epic poem Paradise Lost uh, and Epileon, uh, that is a mini epic Paradise Regained. Milton is basically well known for uh, for, uh, for three uh, books, that is Paradise Lost, Paradise Regained, and as well as because of his uh, Areopagitica. So Milton uh, was a polyglot, he knew many languages, and he had a habit of uh, extensive reading from his childhood. Uh, from his own statements, it has come to our knowledge that Milton was a, a, a vociferous reader. Uh, he had the habit of uh, wide reading, uh, which, are, uh, which shaped his intellectual faculty, which shaped uh, his uh, thinking, which shaped his cognitive uh, uh, power to the extent uh, which ultimately enriched English literature. He was uh, a, he was broadly Protestant, and uh, his father was a scrivener, that is copyist, and he belonged from a well-to-do family. And uh, he, as far as his schooling, he went to Saint Paul's School as well as in uh, Christ College, Cambridge. Uh, uh, in Saint uh, Paul's School, uh, oh. there he learned humanistic education. And as well as uh, many uh, classical languages. And uh, Milton, uh, next, uh, next Milton uh, went to uh, Christ College, Cambridge uh, in the year 625. And there he learned many things. And most important uh, uh, incident in this uh, Christ College is that uh, he was in confrontation uh, with the, with the course curriculum as well as uh, he he had 
disagreement with uh, with his one of his tutor that is uh, William Chappell and because of his disagreement with William Chappell uh, he was uh, finally rusticated in his first year uh, 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 initially and uh, uh, in while studying in Christ College, he was uh, called uh, Lady of Christ because of his delicate manner, because of his uh, hairstyle, as well as because uh, of his uh, personality. So Milton studied in Christ College, Cambridge, uh, studied in St. Paul's School. Milton's earliest poem is Odd on the Death of a Fair Infant, Dying, from a co dying of a Cough. Uh, published in uh, 1628. It is considered to be his uh, first formal poem. In the next year, that is in 1629, his uh, nativity, uh, Christ's nativity poem was published. Uh, the name of the poem is uh, on the morning of Christ's nativity published in 1629. As far as the basic theme of the poem is concerned, Milton uh, uh, made a, a connection between the uh, renunciation of uh, Christ uh, with his, his crucifixion. Uh, and uh, in the next year, that is in 1630, Milton wrote another significant poem uh, named On Shakespeare, which found its uh, place in uh, William Shakespeare's second folio. Uh, 1632. Uh, that is the uh, uh, that is William Shakespeare's second folio was published in 1632. At this time, Milton left Cambridge and wrote two narrative poems, L'Allegro and Il Penseroso, at the age of 23. L'Allegro means happy man, contrasting with the companion poem uh, Il Penseroso, mean melancholy man. Uh, from 1635, Milton spent few yards uh, at Horton and he wrote some of the import some of his important poems known as Horton poems along with uh, two masks like uh, Arcades and Commas. Arcades is published in 1632 and Commas is published in 1634 two years after Arcades was published. As far as uh, these are masks, masks are um, from theatrical performances performed, uh, uh, perform generally performed in court. As far as the plot of the com plot of commas is concerned, two young uh, brothers along with their uh, sister were walking throughout the forest and they were, as they were hungry, they wanted to bring foods or collect foods. Uh, uh, and uh, they left their daughter in the forest. Um, by taking the privilege of uh, the loneliness of the lady, the devoured God uh, wanted to seduce the lady. Um, but the lady use, uh, used her rector ratio, that is freedom of mind. She resisted the temptation and finally succeeded in resisting or keeping her chastity. Commas upholds the virtues of temperance and chastity. It was published anonymously in 1637. In 1638, Milton, um, uh, Milton went for a tour in Italy, and there, uh, there he met Galileo um, uh, along with other scholars. And the name of Galileo is uh, mentioned so many times in Paradise Lost. Uh, having uh, um, uh, while he went to uh, uh, Italy, he got to know the death of his uh, beloved friend, uh, um, who was uh, who was his close friend uh, until his marriage, that is Charles Diodati. And after returning from Italy in 1639, he wrote a famous poem already I already mentioned, that is Epitome Demons, uh, uh, published in 1639, commemorating. Uh, in the death of his beloved friend. After returning from Italy, uh, he also wrote five uh, anti-prelatical uh, tracts, means uh, anti-Catholic tracts. He wrote uh, against uh, uh, Catholicism. He was quite fed up with uh, with the reign of Charles the First, uh, so he wrote uh, some pamphlets. Uh, at, at this time. Uh, at the age of 1643, Milton married Mary Powell, 
uh, of 16 years old. Uh, she was quite uncomfortable uh, with John Milton and she went to her uh, parents. Milton was uh, quite uh, shocked. He was emotionally shocked and following the desertion, uh, desertion of his uh, uh, wife, he she started writing pamphlets and uh, justifying the legality uh, of divorce. I Means uh, at the at this time he was uh, was so much emotionally shocked there, shocked, or uh, he was um, so pained that he wanted to divorce his wife, uh, if, and he uh, wrote out a very important tract that is the doctrine and discipline of divorce, published uh, in the in this year, sixteen hundred forty three. Uh, the socio-cultural po uh, position of a uh, woman of uh, 16th and 17th century was not so good. Mm. 16th and 17th century was characterized by misogyny. misogyny. Uh, women were not considered uh, um, equal to men or they were not given uh, due respect as well as divorce was also uh, expensive. It was not so easy. So Milton uh, star started writing divorce pamphlets justifying uh, in the need of divorce uh, um, in unmatched uh, uh, couples. Licensing Act of 1643. As Milton was uh, Milton was writing unconventional uh, things about marriage, about uh, divorce, uh, so and so forth. Now licensing order of 1643 was passed uh, to stop. Uh, such type of writing. Milton wrote uh, Areopagitica in the next year that is in 1644 uh, as a, mm, a measure of uh, defense, as a powerful um, powerful speech against uh, pre-censorship of books. Milton thought that licensing order is uh, like uh, the killing of books, so it will uh, mm, hamper on the freedom of speech. Uh, so he wrote Areopagitica, a masterpiece uh, um, of this age, a very important um, book supporting the freedom of speech. And after the execution of Charles I in 1649, in the same year, from the same year Milton uh, started to write anti-monarchical pamphlet like the tenure of kings and magistrates published in the same year in 1649, justifying the death of, uh, justifying the regicide of the king. Another anti-monarchical pamphlet, Icon of Iconoclasts, was published in 1649. Uh, it was an attack on the autobiography of Charles the First, Icon Basilike. Uh, even after the death of Charles the First, since Milton was writing anti-monarchical pamphlets, this ultimately led to an, a sort of pamphlet war. A pamphlet named uh, "The Cry of King's Blood" uh, came uh, came to the forefront anonymously uh, the message of this a uh, pamphlet uh, was that uh, uh, it was because of uh, Milton's uh, <coughs> at this time actually Milton was uh, losing his eyesight and the message of this pam pamphlet was that it was because of uh, Milton's attack on Charles the first that he uh, he has he, he has to undergo a pain pains he is go, uh, he was going to lose his eyesight and milton also had to defend this by writing uh, other pamphlet milton also wrote three important extraordinary prose works like history of britain art is logica de doctrina christiana uh, these are very influential prose works published after the restoration period uh, although he belonged to late Renaissance, but uh, some of his uh, works also published after the uh, end of Renaissance, like uh, his prose, which I told, and uh, other uh, mm, uh, that is his more epic poem, Paradise Lost, was published after 1660, that is in 1667. His another mm, uh, po poem, mm, uh, Paradise Regain, published in 1600. Uh, 71 along with uh, a clo tragic closet, uh, closet drama, Samson Agonists. 
1671. So, some of his works, important works, were also published um, after the um, uh, end of Renaissance. Uh, Milton mentioned of his two hands, uh, right hand and left hand. He reserved right hand for his poetry and left hand for prose. This means that he had a great command, um, command of our poetry and and he did so in writing uh, poetry in excellent uh, way. Uh, his Paradise Lost is such an important uh, uh, epic poem. The main uh, theme of this poem is on biblical story of the fall of man and his Paradise Lost is also uh, an important epilion, that is mini epic and his closet drama of Samson Agonis is also of equal merit. So, up to this later we will discuss his important works in details and uh, in other videos and thank you for thank you all for watching this video.